in Romans chapter uh, 7, Paul made it clear that it is impossible to do the things that he don't want to do. And the very things that he do, he don't want to do them. And the things that he don't want to do, he end up doing it. And many Christians look at uh, this passage and say that it is impossible to live holy. But we need to go down to the last verse of that clause in Romans chapter 7. Because Paul is saying, I thank God that through Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ, Jesus is the one that can allow you and I to be holy. And then he comes back and begin to talk in Romans chapter 8. And he said in Romans chapter 8 that based on what Jesus had done and based on the work of Christ who can deliver him from sin. Because he said in Romans chapter 7, Who can deliver me from this body of death? Then he said, I thank God through Jesus. Jesus is the one that can deliver you and I. And only Jesus can deliver you from the body of death. Have you been delivered from the body of death, the sinful nature? Or are you just blaming the body of death and saying the things that I like to do I don't do and the things that I don't want to do I end up doing Paul been through that and the Lord Jesus Christ delivered him from the power of sin I believe that if you really want to be delivered from the power of sin you will cry out to Jesus Christ and he can deliver you from the power of sin then he said in Romans chapter 8 that there is therefore now no condemnation towards them that are in Christ Jesus who want not after the flesh but after the spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. So he's saying that, you know, providing that Jesus Christ has delivered me from the power of sin there is therefore now no condemnation towards them that are in Christ Jesus who want not after the flesh. You have to first be in Christ Jesus and you have to not walk after the flesh. If you are in Christ Jesus and you walk after the flesh, you are condemned. In other words, if you are in Christ Jesus, if you are a Christian and you still do the things of the flesh, you still covet lust envy, strife, malice, jealousy, and you still practice the things of the flesh, well, you are condemned already. But for those who are in Christ Jesus, who does not walk according to the things of the flesh, there is no condemnation in them. Because they walk after the Spirit. Are you willing to walk after the things of the Spirit? You see, for the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus set me and you, you and I, free from the law of sin and death. Dear friends, there's a law of sin and death. There's a law of sin and death. We were all born in sin and we were all uh, destined to death. Because the Bible said the wages of sin is death, but the good, the gift of God is eternal life. We were all born in sin and deserve our wages, which is death. But God has given us a gift, our second chance, through Jesus Christ, to have eternal life. And whosoever believeth in him, whosoever believeth that he can, Deliver them from the power of sin. They shall not perish but have everlasting life. But if you are religious and believe that, you know what, you cannot be delivered from sin and uh, you're complaining and you're becoming religious and you try to do 
uh, works and charitable deeds and feel that that alone can save you, you will have to pay that debt because there's no sacrifice that God demands but that of his son to wash away your sins. And Paul made that clear in Romans chapter 7 at the uh, conclusion, concluding part. So in Romans chapter 8 he's saying, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. The law of the spirit of life. I think that's beautiful. That law has set me free from the law of sin and death. Only the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus can set you and I free from the law of sin and death. No other law, no other religious law, no other law of how to offer sacrifice and, and offerings can set you free, but the law of the spirit of life is a spirit that quickens you, is a spirit that stops you from sinning, is a, is a spirit that gives you eternal life, the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because human effort and human uh, 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 work is no effort at all. But in the Spirit of God, there is power over sin. The Bible said what the law could not do in which it was weak in the flesh, God sent in his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Why? That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilling us who does not walk after the spirit, the flesh, but after the spirit. Paul made it clear that they that are after the flesh, they mind things after the flesh. Are you minding things after the flesh today? Is your mind focusing on fleshy things? What is in your mind that is driving you to do or to act out? You see, in our minds must be spiritual matters. But if your mind is saying, oh, let's go and watch this uh, movie. I know there's a little bit of uh, swearing in there. I know there's a little bit of strife in there. But let's watch it anyway. That's the flesh craving for the things of the flesh. But if your mind is craving for the things of the spirit, which says, oh, I want to uh, you know, listen to the word of God. I want to read his word. I want to pray. I want to worship. I want to know him more. I want to be around people who love God. Then the, 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 your spirit needs to be fed. Dear friends, we need to feed our spirit with the word of God. We need to come from among the fleshy people, the fleshy preaching, the fleshy uh, leaders, the fleshy bishops who love the, the, the things of this world. We need to come from among them. And we need to get ourselves lined up with people who really love God and His Spirit. Eternity is too long for you to waste your time with people who love the flesh. You see, just like how you think your thought alone, you will have to be in hell alone. You will have to uh, pay for the sin that you have done alone. But Jesus Christ has paid it all for you. And all you need to do is to open up your heart and ask him to deliver you from the power of sin. And I guarantee you that he will do just that. I trust you will ask Jesus to uh, have you experience the deliverance of sin. And whom the Son set free is indeed free indeed. May the grace of our Lord Jesus be with you as you seek for freedom. May God bless you. Walk good.